Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at the business logic vulnerability. We will explain what the vulnerability is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. What is the business logic vulnerability? Business logic flaws allow attackers to manipulate the business logic of a web application to their advantage. What causes business logic vulnerabilities? Logic flaws can be the result of coding bugs, design flaws, or wrong logical assumptions made by developers during the implementation of the system. To understand business logic vulnerabilities, let's look at some examples. In the first scenario, we'll look at flawed order cancellation. Here, an attacker is connected to an eShop where they buy a number of items. When finished, they proceed to the checkout page. When presented with the payment page, the attacker cancels the order. The money is not withdrawn, but because of a logic flaw, the items are still sent to the attacker. In the next example, we'll demonstrate reuse of discount coupons. Let's say an attacker is logged into an e-commerce site. They obtain a 25% reduction coupon. The attacker buys products and at the payment screen uses the discount coupon. However, because of a logic flaw, they are able to reuse the code multiple times, giving them 100% reduction. Proceeding to the checkout, they receive the order for free. Last example, this time we'll look at an attacker who increases their bank balance. The attacker is logged into a bank where they have a bank account, transferring a negative amount to the account of a victim. The negative transfer is wrongly interpreted and the amount is transferred from the victim to the attacker's account instead. Business logic flaws can have significant impacts. Since logic flaws are application specific, their impact depends on the application but is typically high. Failures by banks to report potential money laundering related payments are an example of how logic errors can result in serious government regulation compliance breaches. Weak account validation could result in transferring more money than normally allowed, resulting in financial damages. Flaws in a checkout workflow could allow products to be ordered without paying, leading to theft, resulting in reputational and financial damages. To prevent business logic flaws, business rules should be clearly defined and checked against during the different development phases of the application including design implementation and testing developers should use threat modeling to help identify design flaws create security tests based on compliance rules abuse cases and transaction flow analysis documenting the design of the application is important Design assumptions should be clearly stated. Using data or transaction flow diagrams is recommended. Finally, make the applications design resistant to abuse and perform security review and tests regularly. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Business Logic.